Hello again. Well, this morning we're going to cover a, an issue that happens to a lot of Apple machines. In fact, this one right here is having this very issue. Um, no backlight. You may be able to see an image on the screen. Perhaps if you look very uh, closely, you can see the Apple logo as it's loading. Or if you shine a flashlight into the back uh, through the Apple logo, uh, you might be able to shine light through and be able to see uh, the images on your screen, but just barely be able to make them out because there's no backlight. Uh, this happens to a lot of different uh, Apple laptops. It could be from anything uh, with a power surge going through the, uh, the LED uh, circuitry. It could be uh, a liquid damage. It could be um, really multiple things. If you're working on your machine and you short, you short out the uh, display connector as you're removing it or you're plugging it back in and you don't remove the battery, this could short out your backlight. Uh, there's many different things that could happen. Uh, with this particular machine, I'll go ahead and boot it up and show you that we're not getting a backlight. Plug in the power adapter. Alright, we have power to the unit. Gonna go ahead and power it on. You see there's no backlight. You would be able to see uh, the backlight come on there. I'm holding down the option key to go to our uh, boot up sequence or a boot up menu and I'll show you um, what you can do to see if you do have a backlight problem. So right here uh, as you see the, the screen looks black. But let me turn on the flashlight on my phone here and if you shine it through you can see that there is an image on the screen um, but no backlight. So that's one way to tell if you do have just a backlight problem. Alright, so we know that we have a backlight problem with this, and so what we're going to do is just uh, run a few different tests and, uh, and fix it. Uh, one thing I do want to say is uh, this particular machine may have uh, an issue with your LED driver causing the backlight to not work, your backlight fuse may be blown causing the backlight to not work, it may be your LED connector or uh, LCD connector, LBDS cable connector. Um, that may be bad. It may be the cable for your display is bad. It may be that the backlight in the um, the display itself is burnt out. Uh, so when we fix this, it may not be your particular problem uh, with your machine if you're having this issue. So really, you're going to have to do your own diagnosing and figuring it out. Uh, and instead of just copying this and saying, hey, this is going to fix it, uh, it may not. You may have a completely different issue. But we're going to figure out um, what the problem is. And first of all, we're going to pull up the schematics for this board. And so here we have the schematics, and we're on the main menu page. This is the 820-3023 board. It's a 2011 uh, MacBook Air. And we're just going to do a PDF search for backlight. And right here you see uh, you have keyboard backlight right here on page 49, but we don't have a keyboard backlight problem. We have a LCD backlight driver problem. So on page 66 is where we're going to go. Alright, so here's page 66, and this is our LED driver. So this, this chip right here is going to be our LED driver chip. Um, that may be the problem. It may not. Uh, we're just going to have to do some diagnosis and figure it out. But as you see here, this is where the power comes in uh, initially to power the backlight. This is PP bus SO LCD backlight, that line. So it's going through this fuse, this 3 amp fuse, and then passing on through there uh, to go to the rest of it. So if there's a short or if um, something happened internally, what's supposed to happen is that fuse is supposed to blow to save your LCD, uh, save other components, it, it's going to recognize, hey, there's a problem, and it's going to blow that fuse and then save your machine from further damage. So what we're going to do first is test that fuse to see if it's good. So we're uh, going to look that up on the board view. That's F9700. So let's go to our board view. And we're going to do a search here for F9700. Alright, so the part is located here. Here's our display connector and so it's on this part of the board 
there's our display connector and then so the part is up in here so let's look under the microscope and find that and if you remember from our other video on a backlight um, usually the the backlight fuse is located by a, a printed like the letter P written on it so we're gonna look for that that's the most popular uh, fuse all right Oh, there it is right there. I'll line you up. The camera's crooked. Okay. So, our backlight fuse is right there. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the, uh, the multimeter. I'm going to power this on and we're going to test the voltage on each side of that fuse to see if we're getting the correct voltage through it. And if you look back at the schematics, I'll show you here, um, it says the voltage right here is 12.6 volts is what we're supposed to be getting. So we'll see if we have that on both sides of the fuse. So let's aim this down. All right, so we're gonna plug in the machine. We're also gonna open it up because if it's closed, the backlight will not register as coming on. So we wanna make sure that it comes on. Okay. Okay, the machine is on. We're gonna put our black probe on ground. And we're going to touch. Uh, it looks like you're out of focus again. Sorry. Okay. So we're going to touch the black probe on ground, and we're going to touch one side of the fuse. We have zero volts on that side. On this side, we have five volts. 5.9 volts. It's kind of odd, huh? So there might be something shorting out. Uh, this line. Uh, so first of all, we know that the fuse is bad because one side gets power, one side doesn't. So what we're going to do now is um, another way to test that is to put this on uh, the continuity mode where it will beep when you touch the two together. And so we're going to unplug the battery now, unplug the power. battery out. Okay. And we're going to touch each side of the um, fuse and we should get a beep if it's good. So this is another way to test the fuse. No beep. See, you touch these together, it beeps and it's not beeping now. So there's no continuity. So this, this fuse is definitely blown. So we're going to go ahead and remove the fuse. I'll show you that under the microscope. Okay. I'm going to use the hot air gun. Kind of giving you a bad view of the camera there. Off. And now let's check for a short to ground on each side there. I'll show you the multimeter again. Alright, so we're going to put this on resistance mode and see how much resistance we have on each side of the pins. Or pads. I mean. So this time we're going to put the ground. Uh, the red probe on the ground and touch there. So, alright, we don't have a short to ground on there because there's pretty high resistance to ground. Over here, we don't have a short to ground either. Alright, so what we're going to do now 
is we're going to um, go ahead and install a new fuse here and see what happens when we turn it on. See what kind of uh, signal we get. Alright, zoom out so you can see under the microscope pretty well. Get my fuse. going to put some flux on the pads here and I'm going to turn on the filter so I'm using some leaded solder put some new solder on these pads got to turn on the solder now Tinned with some new solder. We're going to take our replacement fuse. And I just lost it. I hate when that happens. Alright, we'll have to get another fuse. Flux. Okay. Few fuses on. And now let's go back and check this out and see if we get a backlight. Plug in our battery. Adapter. And we have backlight. So this problem was just the fuse itself. Uh, so now we have a backlight. Let's go ahead and uh, boot up into our test drive to make sure that it boots all the way in. But uh, we definitely have a backlight. Should have no problem now uh, with the display. Make sure we get an image. We got an image on the screen. So we are good to go with this. I'm going to go ahead and boot in. But um, this should be everything that we uh, need uh, to know that we fixed this. Uh, this. This one was a pretty easy, easy issue. It was just the fuse. But like I mentioned, if you have this problem, uh, it may not be your fuse. It may be uh, the LED driver, it may be your display connector, it may be the cable, it may be the display itself. It could be multiple different things. So you're going to have to use uh, some uh, brain power and diagnose this yourself and try to figure it out. So um, anyways, that, that fixed this one. And uh, on to the next repair. And we'll try and post some more videos very soon so we can uh, keep you informed on how to do these and hopefully help you out. I hope you learned something and I hope you have a great day.